Are you copping? Are you gonna buy it? What's up guys, it's James from Off The Cut, also known as the TheKid.James on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on IG if you don't, and make sure you follow the show on YouTube if you don't already, and subscribe um, so you don't miss out on any content. Now I'm back with another shoe that I need to talk about because I'm excited for it and I want to hear what you guys think. So making its return since the last time it released, the only time it's released, 2007, I bring to you the Cool Gray Air Jordan 3. Now, looking at it through this screen that I'm looking at, it looks even better than I'm, I'm looking at it right now, but on camera, it looks even better. This shoe is awesome. Wow. I'm pleasantly even more surprised now just looking at it through the screen as I am holding it in my hand, which is, well, first, because usually when you get the shoe, it's like, I need to see it in hand. Well, I've seen it in hand. I've had the 2007 pair and having this one in hand for the last few days, but seeing it on camera, maybe it's just the way the light's hitting it, but this shoe's clean. Bam, 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 hit him with it. Bam, hit him with all the goods. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, this shoe is awesome. I haven't seen this shoe in a long time. I, I did have it and I wore it to the point where it eventually did crumble on me. Um, so I'm stoked that this shoe is back. Uh, it features obviously the cruel gray uh, leather on the top. We see the elephant print around the toe box and the heel. Um, obviously this shoe never had a, a uh, Nike Air on the back. So I'm used to seeing the red Jumpman and the orange uh, Air on the back. And then the white laces on the front. Now this shoe, I mean, nothing has really changed from the last time around. I don't see anything different. This shoe's, it's clean. I, I'm excited. Now this shoe drops on February 20th and I wanna know if you're gonna be copying or are you gonna be passing? Because uh, personally, obviously I have the shoe in hand and it is definitely a shoe that I think you are going to want to have, especially if you're a fan of the three or if you're a fan of like a, a subtle shoe, um, a, a neutral tone, if you will, that is easily worn. Um, the shoe isn't going to be hard to wear. It isn't something outlandish. It's very simple and safe, which is one of the reasons why I actually really like the cool gray colorways in general. Uh, so I think you're gonna want that if you like that. At the same time, you know, if, if you like crazy, you can make this shoe crazy with how you wear it, style it up. It's gonna pop or it's gonna tone down um, depending on how you rock it. So let me know, are you copping this shoe? Are you copping? Are you gonna buy it? Cause I think you should. I think you're gonna enjoy having it. Now this shoe comes with a $190 price tag. I don't know if that's steep for you or if it's, I mean, if it's pretty standard for Jordans these days. So are you gonna cop? Let me know in the comments. If you're gonna get it, let's engage, let's talk about it. Tell me the things that you do like. Did you have the 2007 pair? Are we, have you been looking forward to this pair? Did you miss out in 07 and now you're getting your second shot at it? Let me know because I wanna know, I wanna talk. Let's talk, let's talk shoes. Let's talk kicks, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk shoes. So let me know, make sure you follow me here on IG as well as make sure you follow the show off the cut on YouTube. Until next time, I'll see you then.